Hello friends, welcome back to All in a Law. This is a medical video lecture, pediatrics. And today I'm going to talk about pediatric hip disorders. Guys, this is a kind of rapid revising pearl for USMLE step 2 CK and a step 3 examination. So I'm going to talk only important points related to these three important childhood or a pediatric hip disorders. And that helps you to differentiate and correct the diagnosis. Okay, so let's clearly start this. And the most important th three, what you call a pediatric hip disorders, I'm going to talk about CHD, there's a congenital hip disorder. Then we have LCPD, that's leg, calves, perthes disease. Then we have SCFE, that's slipped capital femoral epiphysis. Okay, guys, so three important diseases. So now I'm going to ask you the age, tell me the age at which they present with congenital hip dysplasia. So at what time they will present, what's the age? At birth, right? Very good. What about LCPD? It's a leg, calves, perthes disease. It will be around 4 to 10 years. Okay. What about uh, slipped capital femoral epiphysis? It's a overweight, so it's around 9 to 13 years. Obese or overweight adolescent. Okay. So it's a more age, right? Okay. Now tell me. Who are affected more female or a male here in the CHD it's a female very good whereas in LCPD is really female or a male it's a male short male you can call it as and here in SCFE there's a slipped capital femoral epiphysis is gonna be male okay so CHD in USMLE try to look for firstborn firstborn okay try to look for firstborn and try to look for a breach delivery okay try to look for a breach delivery okay right okay for LCPD there's a leg cause butter's disease okay try to look for a short male with delayed bone age delayed bone age okay right and for capital femoral epiphysis slipped okay look for the BMR BMI that's overweight or obese more than 25 or 30 okay BMI so look for fate so very important point in USMLE examination now the symptoms and the signs I'm going to talk about for a CHD the two tests very important two signs Barlow's and Ortolani right Ortolani signs what about LCPD we have knee thigh crying pain okay and limp pain and limp right knee thigh groin pain limp okay and what about SCFE slipped capital fibril epiphysis is gonna be same thing right but it's due to the overweight right yeah how would you treat that for a CHD remember harness I'm going to talk in detail regarding CHD, LCPD, and SCFE in a different video, okay? Just for, this is a rapid revising pearl for uh, USMLE, okay? Then we have, for this LCPD, orthosis, yes. And for SCFE, it's a surgical, surgery, surgical pinning. Okay, guys. So these are the important differ differentiating points between the CHD, LCPD, SCFE, um, most common pediatric hip disorders. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.